Storyline's got a really handy screenshot tool that allows you to add screenshots super quick to your courses. In fact, you can add a screenshot to any slide or to any slide layer or even to any of your slide masters or feedback masters. And here's how you can do it. What you want to do is come up to the insert tab and then click the screenshot button and you'll see a list here of thumbnails. There's going to be one thumbnail for each application or browser window that you currently have open except for any that you've minimized. So if you do want to grab a screenshot of something that's minimized, you'll want to maximize that first. So from here, we can hover over any of these items. And when we do that, Storyline is going to show a little tool tip that it helps us identify what that item is. And then when we find the thing that we want to take a screenshot of, we can just click on that and then the screenshot gets inserted into our course. Now in this case, there's a lot of unused space here, so I really probably wouldn't want to keep it looking like this. But the cool thing is with screenshots is that they behave just like images in Storyline. So if I wanted to make some adjustments here, like maybe crop some of this stuff out, I can do that. Up on the Format tab, I've got this Crop option and I can just go through here and get rid of all the stuff that I really don't want to show in my screenshot and that just makes it really fit nicely you know within the context of my course now if you find yourself doing a lot of that kind of adjustments and cropping that sort of thing another option that you might want to explore let me just get rid of this screenshot is if we come back up here on the insert tab and go to the screenshot button down here at the bottom there's an option called screen clipping and when i click on that storyline is going to go away for a second and i'm going to be left with other stuff that's on my monitor and everything is going to turn dim. See how it looks a little bit dimmed out? And now I can click and drag to identify just the part of my screen that I want to take my screenshot of. And then when I let go of my mouse button, Storyline comes back, everything goes back to normal, and this part that I selected gets inserted as my screenshot on my slide. So that might just be a little bit quicker than you know taking in a screenshot of an entire application and then going through the work of cropping it. It's all up to you though. Now, if I did want to make further customizations to any screenshot that I've inserted on my slide, like maybe add a border or you know change the color tint, or maybe I'd want to add an effect like a shadow or a reflection or a glow or something like that, I can do all those things by using the image editing effects in Storyline. And if you're not familiar with those, we do have another tutorial on all those options. And we'll include a link at the end of um, the written tutorial that goes with this screencast. So in case you want to take a look at that, if you're interested in customizing the way your screenshot looks, we'll make that available to you.